Looks kind of like my 3D color rendering. Hello, uh, Mark Palmquist. I just finished this model. The Microscout, <clears throat> excuse me. This is version number nine. Uh, the bottom looks like this. There's the rocker. As you can see, it's um, flat. It's rather flat here, and then it, it increases curvature at the nose, which is what a, what a scow does. Um, there's the inside. As far as the panels fitting, everything fit really well. I didn't have any issues with fit. Uh, I know some people have issues, <clears throat> excuse me, with their fit. Um, but now I'm using SolidWorks, so it's very accurate. Uh, I'm able to take this panel and click on it and flatten it and then export a DXF file and stick it on a file on a sheet. So uh, I'm glad I did this mock-up because I found out where all the weak points are um, and so I could improve upon it. Uh, there's a weak point. There's a couple weak points. Number one, um, before I put the roof on, the, the, the side panels were kind of collapse inward and this this wall was kind of pushed down and it actually kind of crumbled right here so uh, this whole divider panel has to be a little bit more robust it has to go all the way to the floor um, so the reason I, I didn't make it go all the way to the floor is so that you could um, you could stick your paddles in there if you have a eight foot paddle that could go in there but what I can do is I can um, I can add like a make it a big mouse hole big enough for a paddle to go in there. And then this this was a weak point here on this um, this chamfer right here. The, there's a weak point right here. I think I might eliminate this other chamfer on the outside, just make it totally flat here. But I definitely want the chamfer here at the knee um, so that it's not digging into the back of your knee. Yeah, and then there needs to be some kind of rib like through here, um, probably where the mast is. So that means I have to rethink probably the windows, maybe shrunk, shrink the window a little bit. There should be at least one sort of bulkhead thingy right here, just to keep these, these walls from pushing inward. Um, which is complicated because the beds sit there and you don't want to cut into your bed space. Um, but I think there's a way to do it where you're not digging into the bed space. Um, so uh, I guess the next step is to stick a mast on it and stick a sail on it and sort of waterproof the bottom uh, and stick it in the water. Put some foils on it. All right, here's my scale model. Something like this. Looks kind of like my 3D color rendering. Putting in the uh, bed panel here.
Oh, bed has to scoot over. There we go. There's the bow box. This is the uh, version number nine. I, I haven't updated that yet. 